Hey guys, what's up? Shin055, back with more Let's Play, uh, Sondal Niche. We're playing this game. We're always playing this game. I actually really like it. I think, I hope you guys like too. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I'm enjoying it. Oh man, he's dead. That guy's dead. His eyes are open, he's straight up dead. Oh, that was the cool boss I was talking about. <sighs> See, and in the Sonic lore, Sonic has is now about to fight an actual phoenix. The actual, like, phoenix bird that revives himself. Sonic has fought a phoenix. And he's about to win. Oh, ow. I say that as I just get pelted in the face. Perfect. Um, I think the hardest part about this boss fight is, uh, getting the water. Stop it. Damn it! Oh right, yeah, you just gotta like chase him down. He'll like hang out near a platform eventually. Damn. Like that, and it's like. And you got it! Yeah, he, he's basically a glorified quick time, but it's like, you do have to play a little bit beforehand, so. You gotta figure out, and again, the hardest part is just figuring out what platform he's gonna just hang out at. Because it takes like a year and a half to get up here, and up. Oh. There we go. Cool off, dude. All right. Hopefully, I won't finish up because, like, it, it's actually a pretty cool quick time once you like. Hey, hey, hey. B, B, A. Oh, yeah. I love that. Haha. <laughs> Can't touch this. Yeah, this, this is actually a super easy boss fight. Oh. There we go. Because, like, again, you can just stand on the one, like, he'll just pick a platform and you just stand on it and then you just wail on him. The hardest part is the quick time event. B, X, B. B, A, A. Gomo Gomo no. Double barrel! I forgot that what that one was. 
Was it Bell? It might have been Bell. Yeah, take a nap. How do you like that, huh? I think it might just be one medal. Oh yeah, we got an S rank. Yeah, we got the Sun Medal. We did it. Again, not not a very very tough boss. Anyone could probably do it. So let's watch the cutscene now. Ooh, making progress. Oh, can I thank you? You will always have my deepest gratitude. Came here to look at the Holy Shrine, but somehow it seems like I lost consciousness. Blah, 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 blah. You wish to know where the Guy Temple is? Allow me to explain. The Holy Shrine for many generations. Blah, 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 blah. See, like, I kind of like how the Chaos Emeralds are, like, like... I like how the Chaos Emeralds are like multi -fa multifaceted, where it's like, because generally, um, in, in like Sonic, the Sonic Adventure games, it, it, it said that like the Echidnas had the Chaos Emeralds, and they made like the Master Emerald Shrines, and like, okay, like, okay, I get that, that's how like the Chaos Emeralds originated. But then it's like, I feel like Angel Island felt like the Chaos Emerald separated. I like how they became like, like this Gaia thing. Cause like, I guess you infer like the lore, like after Angel Island fell and the Kidnas went extinct, the Chaos Emeralds like scattered throughout the world for like such a long time that they like became like legends into themselves. Like, I don't know, I like it. I like it, I like piecing together Sonic lore. Trying to find a way how it all makes sense. <laughs> oh no. The moment the temple lit up, the beast woke up. It appears he's come back to his senses. I see. I'll bet your job is to, to guard the Chaos Emerald Temple. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. He kind of looks like, I don't know, Jet the Hawk. Well, I'm glad you're back. Want some chocolate? Not a big fan of the Babylon rogues. Now that I think about it. They're, oh, they're so annoying. I especially don't like Jet the Hawk. Mainly because like I just a Jet the Hawk grant. Um I mainly don't like him because he, he's just so cocky and like Sonic beats him every time. And he's like, oh, Sonic, you're the fastest on the ground? Well, I'm the fastest in the air. And it's just like, then Sonic beats him in the hoverboard race, and she's like, Jet, get out of here. Your dinner, Doctor. Thank you. I like how, like, this is like the original version of Orbot. What's the progress on the Dark Gaia powered egg? Instead of being like red system. and having Cubot. Current status is 27% complete. Progress is significantly behind projected timetable. Presumed cause of delay is Dark Gaia dispersion across the globe. Oh, of all the lazy, here I go to the trouble of waking that Dark Gaia thing up. And it causes me nothing but delays. Dark Gaia had yet to reach maturity within the planet's core. Ergo, it was still incomplete at the time of its awakening. Ergo, it was unable to sustain its own weight upon its release. Ergo, it scattered around the world. I don't want to hear about its weight issues. So what if I gave it a bit of a sudden awakening? This is unacceptable. Ergo, this is the repercussion of your hasty actions. What was that? I'm having a bad enough I'm also excited about forces to see Eggman in like a more serious light. Yeah, because like Eggman might be the best part of Sonic. And um... Just like he's super funny, he's great, he's like super evil. And like But like they, they make him so cartoony, especially in like this game and like Especially Generations and um colors. Uh but in Forces it looks like he's going back to like Sonic Adventure 2 where he's like like an actual threat. Anyway. 
So, oh, my watch is done. I don't know if you heard that. Actually, no, I gotta put it in again. I gotta put my, like, colors and device in the dryer. This is super important, by the way. It'd be difficult to collect every piece scattered all across the world. Searching conventional wisdom banks for topical advice. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Slow and steady wins the race. Nobody likes a whiner. Hmm. Isn't there a more efficient way? Some way to, well, I don't know, gather them all up at once. Wait, that's it, of course! <laughs> I really like the interior with of the ship. This, all of my plans will be realized. That's a really nice looking like ship. Like I like everything's rounded. I like his hover chair. Let's go visit him, Sonic. Okay, this is what's so annoying about the game. Is the fact that we just watched that cutscene, and I'm gonna end the video here, because this is the last video we need to make for this sit down. So I'm gonna end the video here, but what's gonna happen is like it didn't save. Like the game has not saved since we beat uh, the Dark Guy of Phoenix. So I'm gonna have to rewatch this cutscene when I start this game up again. Um, but whatever, whatever. Uh, next video, we're gonna go back to see, say hi to Professor Pickles, see what he's up to, and actually, that's up there. Um, and yeah, and we'll we'll end the game there. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the end slate. Bye bye. And welcome to the pre-recorded end slate. This will be the same end slate for every video because it's pre-recorded because I don't have time to make different ones for each video. So anyway, uh, quick shout out to Guardian Saiyan, uh, made my amazing thumbnails for this Let's Play. You can check him out, his, the links to his YouTube channel and his Patreon are in the description below. Go check him out, he does great, real professional work. Um, other than that, you can like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. A uh, link to the playlist is down below. Uh, and also do how to draw videos, those are also there under HTDs. That's what it stands for, how to draw. So, um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sonic Unleashed. I hope it was good, and, um, yeah. Anyway guys, just catch you in some other video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye